It's official. The Edge team have landed at Geek Fest 2014 and we've done so in fine style. A Ghostbusters mobile? Are you kidding me? Just at a glimpse, I've seen some incredible outfits inside. And you know what? While everyone is channeling their inner movie hero or anime character, we've decided to keep it authentic. And for today, you can call me Lady Edge. Let's get stuck in on the action. Geekfest had cosplay, a pet parade, robo wars and even a demo on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. In short, it's the most fun you can have with your costume on. Now this Ghostbusters mobile has been put together by a true geek, I would say. Everything from your car to you is completely in character, which is awesome. Yeah, well, that's what we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy these things. I mean, you've had to really put some manpower into it and yeah. actually make everything seem very authentic. The, the first thing I did is I bought a model, a 1 to 18 scale, and I actually measured my car and I measured the car and everything is uh, uh, basically up to spec, add to size on what I had on the car on, in the movie. Wow, so you've got a little mini-me scale version and then yeah. you've actually used that to model the real to thing. To model the real thing, yes. Yaku, what does a true geek carry? I don't know what other geeks got, but I've got my proton back. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Let's just say, alrighty then. I'm sorry, but I am a huge Ace Ventura fan, and you are doing this so well today. <laughs> alrighty then. <laughs> alrighty then, Chicago. Bumblebee not. tuna? You're not having Bumblebee, Bumblebee I'm tuna. Not, I'm not. I'm not. They're, 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 they're just. Blending in this time. That has got to be a crime, man. Uh, You're not all as geek as I thought you were. I oh, know, I was just I was eating. <laughs> you caught me on unexpected time. That's how we do it. We catch people with, you know, their mouths full. <laughs> Yummy! <Yeah, man. laughs> man, oh man, I think that between humans and furry people at this festival, there's some serious competition. Your dog looks incredible. I take it it's a skeleton woofy? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Why did you decide to actually bring your dog along today and actually also make him part of all the action? Well, well, being able to bring my dog was the reason I came. <laughs> so, and then I saw a picture of someone painting their dog like this on the internet, and I thought it was awesome. I think we need to ask him if he approves. Do you approve? Snuffles. Snuffles. <laughs> Snuffles. Do you approve? She loves the attention. Oh, you love the attention, don't you? And we love you. <laughs> Just gone down at Geekfest Robo Wars, and we are checking in with a champion. How are you? Good, and you? I'm great, but you must be elated. You've just taken down the reigning champion of last year. Yes, we have. Tell me more about your robot. I picked up that the name is Kruganator. Yes, it is. Okay, and there's some serious hydraulics happening there. So, what exactly went into your machine? We basically made the claw to crash a hole through it, but now we just use it to ram them off the side. I'm so curious, how old are you? Nine years old. A whole nine years old and he's ruling the world of robots, loving it. It was Nick and Nick, eh? You have a serious dagger on that baby. <laughs> for our judge's choice. Well, congratulations. Well done. I'm super proud of you. And I'm sure I'm going to see lots of cool things in the world of tech from you in future, hey? Well done. Thank you. Woohoo! What at Glenn from Parlotones, who knew he was a geek, guys? Glenn, I'm sorry, uh, but we've discovered that you're quite the geek. Very cool to see you at Geek I'm Fest. I'm blending in. So well, so well. I feel like I'm standing out a bit. I love how you're just wearing yourself, hey? Geek yeah. enough. Yeah. Well, how have you found the day so far? Um, cool. Only been here about an hour, but... So, tell me, I mean, you are a rocker from one of the biggest bands in SA. Are they all geeks? Your secret's safe with us. Um, definitely Paul. He's, he's the, the biggest geek of the band. And why isn't he with you? I don't know. I, was, <laughs> I think you'd know about Geek Fest, but he's probably sitting at home playing computer games. That's why. Well, thanks for gracing us with your presence. It's really cool to cool. see you. Yeah. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> I'm totally crushing this so bad! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I mean, when I see a sign that says eating vegetables is murder, I had to get involved! You guys look awesome. Tell me more about your costume. Oh, well, you know what? I had to make up for an extra dress up over here, even though she 
has no clue who her character is. This is supposed to be Toriel from The Hobbit. Um, but I've never watched Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or anything, so... So, yeah, it's a bit embarrassing over there. <laughs> First time for everything, people. <laughs> I'm pretty overwhelmed with all the sights that I'm seeing. I've just spotted the Grim Reaper. I think we need to go find Pokemon from uh, oh, wow. the original. Oh Pokemon. wow, okay, yeah. well I had that wrong. Clearly I'm not geeky enough. We called her the Grim Reaper, no it's not. Yeah. Do explain. Well, technically I was looking for like a last minute cosplay at one point and I thought why not do a Pokemon and then I looked through like colors and stuff and then I came up with this. We love your work. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be No doubt that it takes an army to put a festival like this together. So we're about to check in with the organizers, Richard and Kasha, on exactly what kind of muscle it takes to put this all together. Oh. How are you doing? Okay, and you? Very well, thank you. Well done. This is an incredible experience. So what does it actually take to bring this all together? A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of teamwork, a lot of fighting, a lot of crying. But we got there. And have you found that it's grown from year to year now? Most certainly. Uh, last year I, at our event we had close on 3,000 people and this year we're looking probably in the region of 4,000 to 5,000 people that have arrived. So we're definitely on the up and up. Kasha, where do you see this culture heading to in future? It's definitely growing. I think it's going to get bigger and bigger each year with each movie that comes out, uh, each superhero comic, uh, each game. You know, it's it's really growing in this country. Uh, it's nice to see the older guys coming in as well, the guys that watch Star Wars growing up and read the old comics like, um, you know, Superman and whatnot. Uh, and also the youngsters that are uh, coming as well, you know, the guys that have grown up watching anime on SABC, like uh, DBZ and what else is there, Pokemon. So um, we have this whole huge culture that's growing and it's fantastic. And speaking of the oldies, I mean, we just watched Robo Wars go down and a nine-year-old took that competition down. Yeah, he did. He did. He did very, very well. Uh, I was very surprised. I did not know that the uh, nine-year-old was participating, um, but very well done to him. Now, I feel like this setting has its very own dictionary. And I think you need to define for me, what is the difference between a geek and a nerd? I'll let Kasha actually answer that question. Nerds are clever. I'm not saying that geeks aren't clever, but nerds are really clever. Now, geeks are people that are passionate about things. So you have horse geeks, we, they're mad about horses. Dog geeks, music geeks, and of course the geeks that come here that are passionate about dressing up, playing board games, playing online, playing PlayStation, um, playing LARP, dressing up as knights. So there's a huge range of geek. Right. So we've cracked that code. Geeks are geeks and nerds are simply cleverer. <laughs> well, all that I see missing here is your Scooby Dooby Doo. Where is he? Well, that's our mystery today. We actually can't find him. Oh. So if you do find him, please bring him back to us. What was the inspiration behind all of this? Jinkies, we just really love mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look incredible, and I must say, I'm going to be involved on the case of Missing Scooby. I think I spotted a Trekkie. Greetings! <laughs> How are you? Good, good. I'm loving the costume. So you're channeling your inner Star Trek there? Yes, of mm. course, yeah. Now for the ultimate question. Star Trek, not Star Wars. Why? Why? Well, there is no definite reason why. Because Star Trek it was the first. Star, uh, Star Wars came after Star Trek. That's why. Boom, just like that. We've busted that myth. <laughs> right, this gives toys a whole new meaning. I'm seeing a lot of like childhood faces over here. Tell me more about the stock that you're actually carrying for today particularly. Um, well, the new stuff that we have, we have some cool mugs. Um, some cool figurines, some Mario figurines, everything that everyone wants these days. I need to bust this, okay? What is the difference between toys and figurines? Well, wow, it's, it's quite an answer there, but uh, toys are kind of like functional kind of beings, you know, that kids want to play with, 
collectibles and, and figurines or more that people will collect, put up, sell them, you know, so we specialize more in figurines. And I see that E.T. phoned home as well. <laughs> that is so cool. I think I need to grab him for home, please. Just one. <laughs> Well, it seems like there are battles of epic proportions happening here today. Check this lot out. Well, I've tracked down a rather charming knight by the name of Carl. So do tell me exactly what the mission is at GeekFest. The mission at GeekFest is to mainly have fun and get people in touch with their nerdier side. For us, it's the violent side of nerdy. The violent side of nerdy. And you calling yourselves? Medieval Fight Club. Medieval Fight Club. So you bring medieval sexy back? You betcha. Okay, and tell me, can you make a living from doing this? Uh, I would love to. <laughs> but uh, at the moment, it's a very small sport in South Africa, but we are trying to grow it as we would like to compete overseas in the uh, coming years. So what you're saying is internationally you can actually make a living from this? Yes, it is actually a sport. It's a young sport, but it is getting there for sure. So let's just say a little birdie's told me you have a Geek Fest special running for today. That's correct. It's 20 Rand fight tonight for 90 seconds. It doesn't sound like much, but once you go up against a guy in full steel and a bad attitude, it definitely makes a difference. So clearly I'm gonna have my work cut out for me, Carl. Yikes. We'll try and be <laughs> The great thing about this fest is that it's interactive on many, many levels. And hey man, when you're chilling with the geeks, you've got to get involved. From Robo Wars to zombie face painting, they've got it all. And I have to say, while my ride might be the most high tech, with a name like Fury, we're off to rule the world. 